Yo, what is up guys, it's Chris. Um, right now, I'm actually getting ready to go to an Auburndale drift event. Uh, the truck's all packed up, cars loaded on the trailer, pretty much ready to go. Uh, the gates open at like 11 and it's like nine something right now. So we're not leaving for a little bit, it's only like an hour away, so. Uh, yeah, Auburndale's a sick track. Uh, it's basically just like a smaller version of the OSW oval. And it's, everything there is super laid back, like everyone's super chill. Uh, it's a lot less strict than OSW, it's, it's a good time, so. I'm not sure all who's going yet, but I'm hoping I can uh, maybe get some tandems in today. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, my dad's going, so I might I might end up throwing the GoPro on his head. I haven't done that yet, so who knows, guys? So yeah, the car is loaded up, looking all sexy and shit. Not not really. I mean, <laughs> you know, got a little got a little paint there and some little dents all over the place. But you know, it's a drift missile. What can you do? Um, <laughs> yeah. One little thing I actually did want to mention before I, you know got on the road and stuff is I actually just the other day installed a six putt clutch so before it was like the single disc stock clutches that was in this thing and it was slipping bad so I put a six puck in it and I'm really excited to see how that feels when in drift and stuff so the car already just driving on the street it feels like it's got a quite a bit more power so I'm excited to see how that feels in drift and I put the front bumper back on Makes it look a lot cleaner than just having that ugly stock bash bar. So anyways guys, I will pick the video back up once I get to the track. No brakes, no brakes at all. Like I was slammed and it just. Well, I think we might want to be fixing the brakes. <laughs> mean you had no brakes. Like I slammed them on and I didn't even, I didn't skid it. Dude, you went in so hot. You were when you once you lost it, your back was moving. I know, I know, but I, I didn't, I didn't skid when I slammed on the brakes. I just kind of rolled. It, the car feels so good. <laughs> ah, it's just a bumper. I, I knew I knew when I hit I was like yeah it's just the bumper. Well, you gave it gas to go forward, but you kept it from hitting Yeah, I know. I, I know. It looked good though whenever I was I was linking it. Alright, not sure how good you guys can hear me, but about to go out again. You know, I'm just gonna send it. I'm just not gonna send it as much as I did earlier because I came in way too hot. Way too hot, but the car feels great with the clutch in it. The new six puck. The car feels absolutely great. Feels like it's got a lot more power now. So I'm, 
I'm happy with it. machine right huh? there's a tire machine right yeah. tire machine over there yeah. I don't know just fucking... yeah I, I like I came in a little shallow I think and it just debeated it on the little 17 there's a tire machine over there though, right? Yeah, but they said the rims broke. The rims broke? Yeah, Looks like it's cracked. It's cracked right there. Fuck. Yeah, right. Whenever your car dropped that last time, you heard two, 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 two. Yeah, I heard, I heard it. it. Um, um, uh, 
Right here's the crack. Right. Yeah, that's not a crack. It broke back there. It blew the whole inside off the bead off the wheel. Let's get it off of there. Oh, yeah. I actually got it recorded, but. Uh, I broke a wheel when I went a little too inside on one of the on one of the banks or uh, not the bank But I went a little too inside on one of the turns and I just straight up broke one of my wheels So I had to had to do a little swap over there at the tire machine, but it should be all good now
<laughs> Never mind, just wait, wait and do the other one. Don't clutch kick it here. Huh? Don't go right here. Do the one over there. Back up. All right, now swing out. 